Hi there, today we're going to go over the best tank to play in PvP, which is Paladin. Let's jump into why. First of all, any job in Final Fantasy XIV PvP is viable, but some are just built better than others. We have four tanks, Paladin, Dark Knight, Gunbreaker, and Warrior. Gunbreaker is honestly suffering in the new PvP, mostly due to the continuation combo that is used in PvE is now available in PvP and it makes it very difficult to weave in other things like recuperate, guard, or purify. It also doesn't have an active defense mechanism like other tanks do, so for this reason it is at the bottom of the list. It is paired with doing damage, which can be a problem if you're consistently fighting range opponents, so it's not as flexible, and requires you to be in the thick of it with no active barrier abilities. Most of it just seems a little underwhelming. Next up we have Dark Knight. We do have the Blackest Knight, which is awesome. Any tank in PvP that has a shield that we can apply before we go into battle is already going to be better than Gunbreaker. This also has a really nice effect with Salted Earth, which is a ground AoE, damage mitigation, damage dealer, and regen, which we can be using to keep place at the crystal. Other than this, it just seems lacking comparatively to Warrior and Paladin. It is a better option than Gunbreaker in my personal opinion though. Next up we have Warrior. This is a close second to Paladin for a few reasons. One, we have Primal Rend, which is a gap closer and stuns the enemy. Since Crystal Conflict is so incredibly high speed gameplay, even a few second stun is a huge game changer. Another reason is Blood Wedding, which basically grants you all of your OP Warrior abilities we've come to know and love in one move. 100% damage recovery by damage, barrier, and an AoE attack. To top it all off, we have Bloda, which pulls your target to your side so you can keep people from running away and keep combat going. Now, I didn't think I would ever say this, but Warrior is not the king of self-heals here. Paladin takes the cake, and here is why. It's not only fairly straightforward to play, but the consistent self-heals are out of this world powerful. We have our regular GCD combo, then our Atonement combo, which is basically a 3 GCD damage dealer that heals you for 4,000 potency, each ability. We can get Atonement one of three ways, our regular GCD combo, our Shield Bash, which stuns the enemy and gives you Atonement stacks, and our Gap Closer Intervene, which also gives you Atonement stacks. So this basically allows you to keep Atonement up at almost all times during PvP, which means consistent heals every single second. But that's not all the heals. We also have Confidior, which is a range AoE damage ability and applies the debuff Sacred Claim. Now the reason this ability is so OP is because it's range and you can apply this before you get into combat with someone. Now when you damage that person, every single time you're going to get healed 2000 potency, which means if you have Atonement and Confidior going, that's a 6000 potency heal every weapon skill ability. The one thing that sets Paladin apart that I hope that they change for all of the other tanks is that it has a actual tank ability called Guardian, which allows you to rush to a teammate and then protect them from all incoming damage for 10 seconds. Which, if you have these self heals going, you're basically just absorbing the damage that they would take, which allows them to output more DPS because they didn't die. You have Holy Sheltron, which creates a huge barrier and reduces the damage you take. You'll also get a slow debuff, but who cares when you have gap closers anyway. And to top it all off, your limit break makes you not only impervious to damage, you also apply a 50% damage buff reduction to your party, and it gives you the Blade of Faith combo, which is also ranged. The Blade of Faith combo also heals yourself, like it's kind of broken actually when you break it down this way. Now, Paladin won't output as much damage as let's say Warrior, but the thing is, the longer you can keep your party members alive and not have to revive, the more damage you all do. And from this clip playing right here, I only died once while keeping all of my party members consistently alive by using Guardian and my Limit Break and basically absorb all of the damage with my self heals. It really is the perfect tank in PvP, not only for experts, but also beginners. If you have not tried Paladin out in PvP yet, please do yourself a favor and do it, as it's arguably the best tank right now.
comment down below which tank you like to play with and why to give some more insight for other people looking for other options. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to see all my upcoming PvP guides and job guides for Endwalker. And if you want to continue watching Final Fantasy guides and tutorials, then you can click here.